Do you think Omi will hit one dollar? I'm very realistic, but I really need the clicks right now. I would like to phone a friend, my friend Randy Chavez. A hundred dollars? Bro, you're on acid, man. My final answer is... So is the one dollar Omi price prediction realistic? We have talked about the one dollar Omi for quite some time on this channel. I would even make the case that my one dollar price prediction is kind of the foundation for the success of my YouTube channel. But with everything that's going on with Omi, does this actually mean it's possible to hit one dollar Omi in this type of economic condition with everything that's going on with the team? We are going to talk about that today. But before we begin, like always, if you want to support the channel, just give a like on the video. Subscribe for more great content just like this. Talking about $1 Omi in this type of environment is like the mating call for the Moon Boys on crypto Twitter. <laughs> But I want to provide some context as to how this $1 Omi price prediction came about. In 2021, it was the height of the bull market. Every sort of crypto token NFT project seemed to be going to the moon. And it was the middle of 2021 where the VV Ecomi team said that we would get certain things. They said things like two to five exchanges, immutable X, VVverse interoperability three hours later buybacks accessories mainstream marketing these are all the things the team talked about and when we heard all of these things they said for the most part we would see these things hopefully by the end of 2021 so when i made a lot of these videos this was kind of in my mind i was thinking okay we would get vvverse we'd be able to buy these collectibles and do things with it perhaps it could be our avatars we would have the buyback fund which would possibly buy up all of this omi on a monthly basis reducing how much is in circulating supply we would get these awesome exchanges like binance and coinbase which would hopefully pop up the price and so we were already kind of at one cent actually 1.3 cents at the all-time high in 2021 i figured we could at least reach that and blow through that hitting a conservative two to five cents by the end of the year one dollar omi by 2025 because there were so many good things promised to us and the financial environment looked good <laughs> hey y'all come look at this <laughs> of course fast forward today we see that a lot of these things haven't actually happened. There was a lot of delays. There's a lot of things with the economy that really we couldn't comprehend could possibly happen like the Ukraine situation as well as runaway inflation. So there's a lot of things that have since changed the perspective of what we see here today. So I wanna talk about is $1 Omi still actually possible or is this still a pipe dream that the moon boys such as myself keep talking about so the biggest reason why people don't think we can get one dollar is because they look at the market cap of a token like this and they say okay there is about 310 billion tokens out in circulation it's a fully diluted project at this point so if omi were to hit one dollar that would be 310 billion dollars now one counter argument to that is well you know we're expecting this omi to have been burnt so you know we're not going to eventually see 310 billion tokens out there forever hopefully with burns we could see you know i don't know half of that 150 billion in like a couple years three four five six seven eight ten years or something so you know we're looking at really 150 billion dollar project or maybe even less you know plus or minus 10 20 billion dollars and when i was considering this a lot i was thinking okay we would have all these buybacks you know even if omi hit low prices you know all this burning would happen and so this circulating supply could be drastically decreased this actually hasn't happened in fact we've gone backwards no buybacks whatsoever we are still waiting for utility for this token and the team has told us we could expect to see this hopefully sometime by the end of the year. The problem with this, there is unfortunately a negative track record for the team. They have pushed back on so many different deadlines that a lot of us don't really believe this will actually happen. And unfortunately, as a realist, we have to look at this really seriously and say that whatever timeline the team gives us, we have to add six months, even a year to our calculus in order to kind of get a reasonable return that we can expect with this project. I think this is very legitimate. Now let's imagine a situation where there's actually OMI token utility, there's burning of the 
OMI token, getting OMI out of the circulating supply to be burned forever. Let's say there's 150 billion tokens out. So roughly half of those tokens have been totally annihilated, destroyed. We don't have those anymore. We just have 150 billion OMI tokens. And let's say OMI does hit $1. So we have a valuation of the OMI market cap as you know $150 billion or so. Does that actually make realistic sense? When we look at the valuations of companies, people like to say, does this make sense to you? So if we're saying OMI is worth $150 billion, we're essentially saying that in today's dollars, we are worth you know, about the valuation of Morgan Stanley, Salesforce, Comcast, these big multinational firms. Does this actually make sense? Honestly, to me, it doesn't. And a lot of people feel that way too. But does that actually mean it's not possible? Another argument people like to make is we know that the founder wallets are roughly 30 billion OMI. They have 30 billion OMI each, Dan and David, presumably. These are their wallets. So if OMI was $1 and they never sold any of their OMI, they would be worth just in OMI tokens alone, 30 billion billion dollars a piece or 60 billion dollars collectively does this make sense does it make sense that dan and david if omi were to hit one dollar right now that they would be worth as much as mark zuckerberg is today no one deserves to have that much money michael dell you know that kind of also doesn't make sense even if they roll out a perfect rollout in the next two to three years i still don't value them as much as some of these billionaires who actually have legitimate very large companies employing hundreds hundreds if not thousands of people producing products and value for the whole entire world. I don't see that. But does this mean that $1 OMI is not possible? I was really struck by a piece of news in 2021 where someone actually bought $3,400 worth of Shiba Inu the year before in 2020. So they didn't really spend a whole lot of money. But at the time in 2021, that valuation of Shiba Inu blew up to $1.55 billion. That is incredible. This is actually worth, you know, some major companies really at this point. But the problem with this kind of valuation is that even though it might be worth that in terms of a market cap, it's actually not feasibly possible to cash out $1.55 billion. And the same reasoning holds with the founders. It's not possible really with the low liquidity exchanges we have. And even if we do have a Binance or a Coinbase sometime in the future, it is not possible to sell that many tokens and collect that current valuation of $1. If it were to happen, Shiba Inu would plummet in value as well as the OMI token market because of how much money it is worth in relation to the valuation. So I don't like these types of arguments where people value uh, these tokens with companies as well as individuals. We can still have a $1 OMI valuation. It is possible. It is not likely for people to cash out all of their OMI and expect to get $1 for every single OMI sold. That is not realistic whatsoever. So do I still believe OMI could hit $1 by 2025? At this point in time, I don't believe that's actually going to happen. When I made those price prediction videos in 2021, I always said that there needed to be a perfect rollout. They needed to get those things that they talked about in place. But really, 80 to 90% of those things really haven't happened. And as a result, I don't see $1 happening by 2025. Now, do I believe $1 OMI could actually happen sometime in the future? I actually do believe it still can. I just can't give a time frame on when that would happen. When I was buying Bitcoin at $250, $300, $500 back in 2013, 2014 time frame, I never believed we could even hit $1,000, let alone $10,000. $19,000, $69,000. And right now people give price predictions for Bitcoin of $1 million. I even heard Michael Saylor recently say $10 million per Bitcoin sometime in the future. With crypto, it's possible for an individual coin to do very, very well because there's so little liquidity really early on. So actually, if you're able to buy in at low prices, low liquidity situations such as OMI, it is possible to see very high, incredibly bullish prices in the future. And so that's why I don't want to say $1 OMI is not possible. Whether it happens in a reasonable time frame is the question. The real powerful thing about OMI right now is that there is so little liquidity. Now people moan and complain about this and it does contribute to the prices we see today. Prices are a lot lower than what we saw them in 2021. Right now at the time of recording, 
It was currently trading at 0.0012, a level that we were deathly afraid of in 2021, but we're super happy about today. And people say we need these exchanges. Now, long term, we do need exchanges to bump up that liquidity, but this is the perfect situation where actually these low liquidity situations mean you can actually continually buy OMI tokens. And eventually when that liquidity pumps up, when people actually have a reason and want to buy the token, the price appreciation we are going to see is going to be insane. And as a result, we will be greatly rewarded for buying these tokens at these prices as long as it makes sense for you. Now, I currently have 20 million tokens like I've discussed on this channel. And for me, I don't even need a dollar for me to be very, very happy. With 20 million tokens, if it hits five cents, which to me is very realistic, you know, sometime within the next decade, I could have a million dollars with you know, kind of an investment of, you know, roughly sixty, seventy thousand dollars because I bought at such high prices in 2021 and put so much money into it. So for me, I don't even need a dollar. If you have a million tokens right now, which is really twelve hundred dollars, pretty reasonable for a lot of people. You could have a hundred thousand dollars if it hits 10 cents. That might not be super impressive to make a YouTube video about, but that's actually a lot of money. You can do a lot with that. You can buy a house, you can buy a car, you can actually move to a lower cost of living area and live like a king for many years, even though that might not be a super impressive number. That's actually quite life changing for quite a lot of people. So for me, I don't even need one dollar, but it's just really fun to talk about. You know, appreciate you watching today's video. If you did like it, just give a like on the video, subscribe for more great content just like this. I'll see you in the next one.